I need to wake up. Oh god, Brad, I need to take one. 2 a.m. and have work in the morning. Yeah, I've got a really I've raised a grievance against the entire HR department. <laughs> I've got a meeting with the operations director tomorrow to discuss it because I included the uh, HR director in the grievance. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I started a war on HR. It's not a very clever thing to do. It's not clever. I have a new link though, so I have to click on it. Let me know if it's working. This new game is crazy. That is the fun thing about Discord is it it does a lot, and it's kind of you don't always like try everything out at once. Hmm. I've been enjoying. Discord's fun. Like I much prefer it to. Trying to have a gaming community in Skype or something, it's just. Oh, Skype? No, Skype! No. Uh, Rod, do me a favour. Or someone, do you have a little look at that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. No, it's Alvin's one. Oh my god. What? So sexy. Yeah, it was. You watching? Why is it what? There'll be another sale. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm sure. Definitely. Come on, give me some bad guys. There we go. This is just open world. Uh, like you just, like you just get a map of like potential cities and shit, and like you can link them all up. There is a campaign mode as well. And basically the cities, as you build more transporters, the city dynamically grows. Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? It's glitched me through the level. Oh my god. decided to try and hardcore murder me. And the game succeeded. No, no, oh, I think I'm watching Transport. Yeah, I actually want to watch that on the Switch. <laughs> I have more viewers than you. God damn it. Lol. I'll just put it on my wish list. You'd never know. Just want you guys to know that I have no idea how to play it. <laughs> That's, That's alright. So I just made this. That's the best 
map to this game. I just yeah. made this town. No, the town's already here. So you get like when you play on a random map, you just get a town. Uh, you get a map full of potential transport links, and you like I've just made yeah. this local bus line around Kidsgrave. Hmm. So and yeah. now I need to build. Have you played Mini Metro? No. Oh, it's very good. It's all about building really As station. But really complicated at the same time. It's very arty. It looks they make their graphics look like the, the London 2 map. Oh fuck, that's what I need to do. Okay, I need to build a depot. See the London 2 map. What's it called? Mini Metro. I never heard of that one. Well, there you go, guys. It's a bus station. Oh, sorry, a garage. Biro vehicles. Oh, God, look what I've got. Stage coach is slow. You're going to put it down. Horse and wagon. Each stage is a shape, like a circle, a square, triangle. That's what you start out with. And there are people on the circle one who want to go to the triangle and the square, and people who oh, want to the triangle. Where we want to go to the circle, etc. And so you have to build it so they can get to where they want to go. And they tell you, you know, with, with little icons that say, hey, I want to go to the circle. Without yes. even having any words. I love it. It's super clean. It's so clean. It's really gorgeous. Like, actual transport people like this game. You know? Mm. I mean, that's probably a sign you're doing something right if you're playing a transport game. That's actually really cool. Mm. How much is Boom, it? Boom, there you go. What have you made? What have you made? Four stagecoaches on horses. Four stagecoaches. <laughs> Look, it's in... Oh like, it's back... Because like, I'm back right at the start. Like, these are... I've now got fucking... Look at that, mate. Ah. <laughs> so, I've made the first residential thingy. It was just a load of fucking horses going around. Lol. That's pretty awesome. I don't know how many people have worked in this game actually. We've got an achievement, first bus arrived. Oh, Wait. Bus made <laughs> right. Wait, go in, go in. I yeah, zoom in, zoom in. Get as close as you can, bro. <laughs> Oh, cool. That's very detailed. That is pretty cool. Now let's go and have a look at the dude on the fucking... Can you can you go into first person by any chance? Like, look, there's an eye. If you look in the bottom, there's like a little... Where it says line manager, there's a couple of icons. Oh, no, 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 no. Underneath the X, there's like an eye. Can you go into first person with that? Where? I'm looking right now at the screen. You have like a line manager, and then there's a couple of icons. Uh, but no, no, not there. Oh, no. It's like an eyeball. Yeah. No, that did just get eyes on the vehicle. So it brings up an image oh, right. have a look there, so I can now rename that vehicle as... Oh, look at all the cool smokestacks. That's awesome. No, so your technology cool. Match Shergar, sure, guys. You gotta go. No, I found Shergar. <laughs> Shergar. Sure, so, basically, like, those are the stops that I've been done. Now, that's costing me a lot of money. I'm not really sure how many. Let's have a look at uh, line manager finances. Oh dear. <laughs> maybe you got to wait a bit until you have some actual people on it. Like oh. maybe you're going to be. Oh, it's, yeah, there's yeah. going to be like a running cost, right? Yeah, but there's then a running cost. Like, like there's no. Yeah. One. I think this is, well, this is, I wonder what I need to do now is I need to get Farringdon linked into this bad boy. You won't make money until one of them gets to their net, like their actual stop, right? So well, it depends on how many from, people So away. from, for example, from what I understood, right? Like, um, the way you make money is the amount of time. It's like a weird algorithm where it's based on the amount of time that your transport thingy is like moving along the road, right? Yeah. 
So you actually, I can't remember, is it either you want to move it really quickly or you actually want it so that your transport moves for ages before it finally gets to its final destination and then it brings in like loads of fucking money because the ticket price is really high because it's based on kilometers or something. Yeah, if you, look, if you have a look, um, hang on a sec, let me open up this line here. If you have a look at the finances here, uh, no, I've got a delay around this. Right, vehicles, that's it, right? Ticket price per kilometer is 705. So if you look, this one that's coming up in a sec, in, uh, not that one, mm. the next window that's coming up, vehicles, there you go, see it, double bottom there. Yeah. Ticket price. Yeah, right, okay, yeah. Yeah. These people definitely played Sid Meier's Railroad. Hmm. Definitely. Now, what I could I mean, do, I cut my running costs, I could, I could make a Farringdon. So if I go back here and I start the Farringdon Central line. Maybe one over here in Farringdon as well. I want to kill them all. So then I can start a new line. Line two. Hmm. Farringdon. The Sid Meier's Railroad actually looks kind of pretty. It's amazing. It's amazing because it's so old that it's even remotely held up. That's really surprising. It's like the same thing goes for Sid Meier's Pirates. I mean, there are some parts of it that are a little goofy, but you have really decent, like, when you're sailing a ship down the ocean, it's affected by the winds and you have to get to port and if you're sailing into the wind, you know, it's harder to do that. All that That's stuff. Really cool. That's and, actually really cool. and shooting cannons at other ships. Oh shit. You totally do all you want. By the way, um, well, apparently EA stock has dropped three billion dollars in value after Battlefront 2. Oh, what did they do? They really fucked up with me. Oh, they said it was a marketing. They messed up the EA share price is still up on the year, but the Battlefront 2 mess has taken a toll. Wow. Can they actually consider <laughs> investing in EA, to be fair? This is pretty harsh. Yeah, they're not, they're not gonna really suffer long term for our No, no way. No, no, like, buy EA yet. I'm very. I'm. Fuck. I may need to. Well, now's a great. Now's a great time to invest in EA. Yeah, but then you have to like. Then you have to like start calling yourself like soulless. <laughs> soulless. Notorious. <laughs> First passenger waiting. <gasps> You're gonna make some money. He has seven hundred dollars to spend on this bullshit. So I just made look, the green line, which is line two, which is the Farringdon line, which goes from here all the way out to this town up here, which I think is the secret to this game. Like you sort of get moved from A to B, like rather than around their own town. So I think the first line may need to be scrapped, which is the one just around Kids Grove. You're making me want to buy this game. Trust, trust me, I've, I've got I've got three friends who are two of the, no, no, hear me out. Three friends, two of them which are Germans, right? So they are super anal serious business about this bullshit. Another guy who is like just really, really into trains. Like massively into trains. They are this is the game they swear by. They are fucking obsessed with this game. And I've just like checked it out like on their screens and stuff. They were walking me through it and it just looks like it's just one of those games you get just full on addicted to. What this game? And everything, everything just like develops over time. So yeah, the towns will uh, build up the more transport linked they are. Which is exactly. What, what I think so they just evolve based on your decisions. Yeah. So if you give them more passenger capacity, they'll get more residential areas. If you get them more cargo capacity, they'll get oh, first passenger transported, baby. There's a few game design decisions that I think are still <laughs> that are really bit fucking dodgy. Like um, specifically the whole uh, how you actually make money isn't <coughs> so realistic. Like you deliver, like for example, if you've got a coal mine really close to you and you want to take the coal mine to like a refinery, 
you deliberately make your line really, 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 really long so that you can gain more money from the distance traveled versus like the money, efficiency of being close. Basically, you like, like a black cab. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm on a meter, so I'll go the fucking long way around. Make me want to play no, no, Factorio. No, no, no. <laughs> Make me want to play Factorio. Factorio. Oh, mate. I haven't Factorio. played you guys. This point oh, wow. low, my god, guys. You haven't played what? Five fucking passengers waiting down this end. I haven't played a Factorio game in a while. I sunk a lot of. Well, it doesn't look like I sunk, but. If you calculate the hours when you look at it on how much I spent playing um, the Packard Railroad, that was like constantly. Like I would start playing, I don't know, in the afternoon and not stop until I was falling asleep. Okay, this is really cool. Uh, so I've got a lot of. You know, fuck up the line one. I've got a line one spell. It's good. I don't even realise you can make private groups in Discord, that's cool. Private groups? Private groups, oh, like private. you can have like direct... I thought you could just have direct messages with people, apparently. No, no, you can, no, no, you can make log groups. Or like role-specific groups. I actually like all of the game implementations of private groups. Without the land stuff. Oh, there you go, you end. What? What? I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. What have you done? Camera in the bottom left. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Sky, you seen this? Hmm. Oh, God. How is cool, right? Ah, oh, that's cool. Awesome. This used to be, what's with the, I don't know what the white thing is. Oh, that's because you've got the building selected. Unselect the buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Oh, that's interesting that if you select the buildings, it does that. Hmm. Let's ride with Shergo, shall we? Yeah, let's, let's, let's follow him on his trip. So he's heading back to... Heading back to the other town now. <laughs> this is cool. Oh my god, this is so cool. That's quite nice. Where's he going? He's going there. He's head, heading for Upper that? Kidsgrove. He's heading to Upper Kidsgrove, so line two. That, I've just zoomed out. Like he... Look, that's the line. He's going for him. Farring didn't set up a Kidsgrove down there. Mm. I feel like it will take more. Those while. guys, can I, mm. so each stagecoach can only hold four horses. I'm going to need more horses, man. <laughs> Need to upgrade them coaches. Look at that, you can make things colored. Oh, shit. Uh, I'll be right back. Let up. I'm gonna need to fix it. I'm gonna need, right, given the length of time that takes. It's May, it's so no, Road vehicle one, road, road vehicle one is now turning a profit of 1.86k. Hmm. Yeah, I'm making money. This looks pretty cool. Anyway, I actually need to run, bruvs. Yeah, no, it's, it's like 220. Like 
What's the time you wait? 120, I assume. Looks like Civ 6 is getting a, uh, a new DLC called Rise and Fall, described as the deepest civilization experience yet. I think they say that about every DLC. Most likely. Yeah, it's good marketing. No! Oh god, Rob, I'm about to make a train line for you. Making a train line? Making a train line is probably better to keep getting on the coach. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. They, I'm going Graves End as a train. Why would I fucking like to put anything on the coach? I really like how spacious the map is. Yeah, that's just a small map as well. Really? This is a small map. Yeah, it goes medium and also huge as well. So a lot of these city builder games, like even um, Pitches Excel maps aren't that big. Yeah. I can't show that dude. Did you do that, bro? Okay. Yeah. This like probably feels like you've got. Yeah, it feels engineering. Like, probably actually feels like you're looking down on the map in like space or something. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, it's got signals on everything. <laughs> I have no idea how to build a train show. Hey, put the rails down when you come to the train area. Jesus Christ, there's no way I'm going to be able to build this fucking train line from here to here. I've only got $2 million. It's 58,000 quid for just that piece of track there. Yeah, different types. Oh, what a track. I'm sure you can when you, when you um, invent the train. You get like bullet trains and stuff. Yeah, you get cargo trains. Yeah, that's like 3.5 million you can get for that. But, alright, looks like we're going Dorchester first, mate. <laughs> Graves End was a fucking stupid idea. The thing is, once you've got it, you know, it's always going to be there. Clinical <sighs> Mid, this train, right, I think. The only problem is there's a fucking river here. We've got anything. That's thing that work. God damn it, I lost 50k on that fish. Yeah, it's not bad. Across here, mate. Let's <clears throat> talk to the bank. Bridge and now I can't fucking use it. 
<laughs> but look, my my um my town line is making a nice like they're all turning a decent profit now. Apart from Basically, do you actually have any rails up? No. Railways up here? No, no. I, I cut, it's going to be fourteen million dollars to connect these two towns because because really? of, of the terrain. And I like, go around it. Yeah, I made a mistake. Oh, no. oh yeah, okay. I don't want to go up that hill, Depot. That's a fucking mountain in between it. Like say. The train trains to two hills. They don't do mountains too good, do they? It's looking more reasonable now. This is so soothing. Well, watching someone have transport issues is soothing. Yes, it's not my transport issues because I know you'll resolve them. Of course, I you. have everything. Thank you very much. Look, right, I saved 14 million pounds. I should go work and get a job at Southern Rail. Okay, this one's going to come in on the day of Get their town ticket prices down. Right, listen. So the towns are connected, <laughs> but I'm going to need to now buy a train. I hope a million pounds enough to buy a train. <sighs> I hope so, otherwise you've just got, you know, big rail. Yeah, but at least I could uh, get people to sort of bike a little bit. Big long bit of metal that doesn't do anything. Okay, this is going to work. What? Locomotives only need like 120 grand. And then we're going to put some wagons on it. Mm. Six passengers. Pretty big investment for uh, six passengers. How much do you spend on that? <laughs> Falling asleep right now. <laughs> right, I think that's going to work, bro. Yeah. Uh, so, a line manager, new line, this is line 3, this is the, uh, let's hope this is the pink line, <clears throat> this is the, Best. Something red. Okay. Add stations. Go away, I'm so, I'm so in that horrible, like, green aqua colour. Yeah, like the puke colour, that's what we mean. Right, there we go. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, baby. I'm not on the bridge. 
Oh, right, yeah. What's the passengers that are coming to the base? Look. How much did you pay? What, there's 8.3k running costs, I think it's per month. But then, look, you can go to your vehicle list. So, train one like. is losing 60, it lost 62k in its first year, but bear in mind, it's, uh, it takes a while for them to make some money. What I'm going to do... What are the ticket prices? Yeah, I don't know if I, how I can affect that. Let's have a look. I guess I go to uh, finances... Running costs... Oh, there you go. Ticket price per kilometre is 1.95k. That's 1.95k. Yeah, that's expensive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got some rich bar buckets in this town. Hmm. This is the interesting thing here, Roy. You've got um, production here. So what you can do now, what I can do now, is put a cargo train, like, extension onto this line, and then you can signal it off so that they can, like, deliver cargo out of that place there, and that place there, even to Kids Grove and Dorchester. Or I could add a branch here, and add, like, different wagons to this Red and graph. Yeah, I made the trains red just to try and camouflage it a bit. <laughs> yeah. Should go to bed. Yeah, he just disappeared. No, that's just me. I may go away too soon to actually cook real food. Real food's nice. But this is super awesome, and I'm totally gonna buy it when I have the money. I might see if it goes on Saturday at Christmas. Yeah man. They will. I've got it for 16 quid. How yeah. much? Was it 50% off? Yeah, it was like 50% off, so Christmas then will be a bit for decent money. Yeah, I'll have to know it. Nice show. I'm possibly thinking Dorchester and Kidsgrove were not uh, the best places to link by train, which seems quite expensive. Carrying with me. What are you guys doing? You want in? Hi. Hi guys. Calm down. Hey. Oh, you yeah, have like airports and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, when you get up into the uh Isn't it earlier in England than it is in, in Prague? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. 
because I've just gone half one in the morning. Oh, look at you guys! Now everybody's here! Good thing we already had dinner. What's that? It's dirt. Ain't it? Complete pee out there. The worst. Okay, I'm going to win. But I've enjoyed the dust very much. Very good. Okay. Good night, you guys. Night, night, dude. Leave dust. Oh, I see. Never mind. I fixed it. Uh, is this is X10. No. Uh, I am <laughs> kind of dead. Yeah, I've got to get to, I've got to be up quite early early tomorrow. I do have a lecture tomorrow, but I can't be bothered.
don't get how to connect these things in. Disappear and get some tea. Okay, good night. I'm fucking destroyed. Uh, we'll have to try some more games at some point. Yes, mate, definitely. It's such a good game, right? Well, last time I did try playing a bit, but I'm rubbing the hook just completely done. Right. Anyway. Hey, I'll show you how to play that game, it's really cool, man. Yeah, yeah, be good. Such a good like walk paper scissors game. Really, really like really stupid. I'm not even sure what the just doing to me. I don't I don't even know what is rock paper sources. Well, there's nearly a thousand units in that game, you know that? Yeah. In real as well. A lot to come later, right? Anyway, I'll uh, catch you. Uh, yes, mate. Good night.